Hey everyone, Servando here. Today we're gonna show you an example of how we optimize our affiliate marketing campaigns using our process. And we are gonna run an example in Zero Park and optimizing with volume. Optimization is definitely key for success and to make ROIs, so let's do this. All right, to show you a real life example, we are gonna launch a campaign with Zero Park using their push notification ads. What we did is just we launched a push ad here and we started our own campaign front of network and then waited a few days to get some results and show you the optimization process so that's what we are going to do today and let's wait a few a few days until we get some data to start analyzing our numbers all right so the campaign we launched at zero park has been running for almost one or two weeks and we got enough data. As you can see, we already spent almost $200 and we got 27 conversions. So this is enough to gather some enough data and then start analyzing our stats and optimizing the campaign. Um, as you can see, we launched a push notification ad in Spain and we are running mobile traffic. So this is something I wanted to show you. And it's important to uh, for you to keep in mind that the offer payout is around 1.5 dollars that will be important later because we're gonna use this data to optimize our campaign the first thing i like to optimize are the websites that are sending traffic to our campaign in this case in zero park they are named targets but in other sources they they are named sometimes website ids or source ids or zones so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go over all the targets that have spent more than our offer payout and block them in zero part so as you can see here we have some targets like this one or even this one that have have spent more than 1.5 dollars and they are not converting we don't have any conversions here so we are gonna go over to zero part and block them to show you an example of how we do this we came to our Zero Parks dashboard and inside the campaign stats, we can go to the targets area. And here we are going to post every target that has not got any conversions after more than $1.5 spent. So as you can see here, I already post several targets, including this and this ones. I have already spent more than $1.5. To post or impose a target, it's just as easy as just click this button and it's done. Sometimes we can have some profitable uh, targets like these two, but also we can have targets that are getting conversions but still not profitable, like the first one. In this case, we have spent more than $6, but we only got $3 in revenue. So in this case, we apply another rule, which is if one target has spent more than two or three times the conversion payout and it's still not profitable, we either adjust the bid or we pause it as well. So in this case, uh, we just decided to pause them here in our campaign. But if you want, you, you can also launch a different campaign or set a custom bid here and try to optimize it if the traffic source allows it. Now we're gonna go over to the sources token and we're gonna analyze our data. As you can see, we have a lot of sources already here sending us traffic. Not every traffic source has this kind of uh, filter. A source in Zero Park represents a bunch of websites or placements that are sending you traffic. So it's just a group of targets in this case that are sending you traffic. So for this case, uh, what we do is we optimize the sources based on the payout as well. But in this case, we wait until we have spent at least five to 10 times the payout of the, of the offer. So we came here to the sources tab in our campaign stats, and we have blocked all the sources, all the sources that are spending a lot of uh, money, but still not getting conversions like this one or this one, or even this one that has already spent close to seven times the payout, but zero conversions. So we pause them all and we just leave the sources that are converting and then we go back to our stats to do more optimization in the case of push traffic campaigns or push notification campaigns we also optimize our creatives since you can start a campaign with up to 10 creatives in zero part 
what we did here is just to uh, test with four different creatives and after the same money spent as with with sources which is around five to ten times the offer payout we decided to post some of the creatives that are not performing as well so in this case we already post three of the four creatives that we were testing they are all very different so we got a very different conversion rate in those in those three that got conversions and there's also one that spent fifteen dollars or ten 10 times the offer payout, I still got no conversions. So all of those that are spending more than five to 10 times the payout, we just uh, pause them and we left this one, which is the best converting one, one to gather more data and keep optimizing. Finally, we also like to check our data and optimize by other big factors, including devices, operating system, browsers, or even mobile carriers. In this case, we are not running a mobile carrier or mobile content offer, so we are going to skip that. But here, let's let's do this. So let's go to OS. And as you can see, we are running mostly traffic from Android. This is because we are running push notification ads and iOS is not available for that kind of traffic. Uh, but still, uh, we can check some of this data if you're running another type of traffic like pop unders or redirects or even native. So let's move to browsers. And here we like to apply the same rule for all of these uh, ISPs, OS, and browsers. We like to apply the rule of spending 10x the offer payout. And if it's not converting, block it. So in this case, we have most of the traffic coming from Chrome Mobile. And then also mobile Samsung browser has uh, decent traffic. But this one has spent a, a has not spent yet the rule that we want which is around 10 to 15 dollars according to our offer payout so we are going to wait a little bit more until we block them if we, if it's not converting which looks like it so in this case uh, for for the optimization instead of doing it here in zero parks dashboard we need to go and edit our campaign and here we will find the traffic filters um, including the advanced settings from mobile and desktop um, devices. In this case, we are running a mobile offer, so we can block browsers like this one, Samsung browser, which we already noticed it might not be converting very well in our campaign. Well, let's wait a little bit more and see. Uh, we can also block by carriers, including if we only want Wi-Fi traffic or carrier traffic, and we can choose the selected carriers that are converting for us and also the operating systems which we are receiving mostly android phones so in this case we wouldn't recommend blocking android because our volume would go down almost to zero but yes yeah, so that's what we do basically so we check out the same for operating systems for browsers for mobile carriers it depends on your campaign and also the traffic filters that are available with your traffic source because not all of them allow you to filter or blacklist all these type of factors. Finally, one last factor you might also want to optimize. It depends if you're running multiple offers or landing pages. In this case, we are only testing one offer, but we tested uh, two different landing pages for this case study. So you might also want to check the data and if your landing pages or offers are spending at least 5 to 10x the payout and not converting you might want to block them and just leave the ones that are converting or if you have two landing pages that are converting but one is better than the other because it has better roi you might just want to leave that as well i just want to give you an idea of how the process works and how we see results after a while. So this is a campaign that we started on April the 23rd, uh, just a few weeks ago. And um, basically we started with minus 100% ROI. We started optimizing and following all this process of blocking the websites that are not converting. And then we start getting a little bit more conversions and or our ROI improves. But after five days or six days, of we still doing optimization and checking the websites that are not converting and all that stuff that we already explained in the video 
we got to positive ROI and we are now clearing more than 200% ROI in our campaign. And we also are managing to increase a little bit our volumes, although I can see we got a small decrease in the lately. Maybe we had to adjust our bids, but now our campaign is profitable. So I just wanted to show you this example because some people start optimizing and pausing the campaigns very fast without getting enough data. And this is a process that usually takes uh, a few days to sometimes even a few weeks until we get to properly optimize our data and then get uh, to profitable zones. So I hope this video uh, has helped you in some way. And if you did, well, just leave a comment. And um, basically that's it. That's it for today, guys. See you in the next video.